Hi guys, welcome back again to my channel. So today's video is all about Tacha's first ever interview after the Big Brother Ninja reunion show. Yes, care. this one is really interesting guys. Like I've been anticipating this and a lot of Titans have been anticipating this interview and yes, it came and it was really interesting. Tacha delivered very well. Like seriously guys, I'm basically going to talk about the major highlights, you know, the major highlights of the show, what drew my attention, what caught my attention attention whatever yeah i'm going to talk about this but you see you see tacha's makeup was really cute she was looking so pretty so nice so sweet like ah gosh this girl is so fine no but you see this presenter slippers was distracting me like ah, ah, hey i was distracted i was looking at ah, ah, how would this man just carry his leg like this like i was feeling that during the advert break they would tell this man oh, oh girl uncle please just drop that leg just drop that leg down like it was really distracting me but you know i just had to concentrate on tacha's face and what she was saying because you know that was giving me the chills that was giving me the vibes so yeah let us go right into this video yes care <laughs> <laughs> so guys tacha talked about our audition struggles you know the big brother ninja audition struggles she said she went from portacot city she went from there to enugu because she had a no in portacot city so she was determined that this thing i'm going to get this golden card this big brother ninja golden card i'm getting it i'm going to be a big brother ninja housemate for the year 2019 nobody is stopping me so she went to enugu she went to to get it and she got a yes yes guys she said she prayed for it because she needed a platform for people to know her for who she truly is and for the values that she can add to the society yes so so guys check out the video and i'll be back with more juicy updates i just need to and i just want to get into the house so when you rejected me in portaco i said listen it's cool i, I lodged in the hotel in portaco came downstairs as early as 4 a.m Yes, I had to I had to lodge in the hotel. Yeah. Came downstairs as early as 4 a.m. Yeah. Got audition as late as 4 p.m. Mm. And got rejected. Mm. They said, Oh, so sorry, this is not really mm. you guys should try next year. I said, Cool. Yes, I, I, I didn't know I was going to get into the house. Mm. It was my first audition. I didn't audition a year before. Yeah. Like 2019 was my year, yes. and even when I got rejected in Port mm -hmm. that same day, mm -hmm. I had to put a call across to my trainer. I'm like, listen, we're heading to Enugu like right now. Right. To go to Enugu like so late. I think as late as 11 p.m. Yeah, yeah, and then I got picked in yeah. Enugu. Now, the presenter asked her, okay, Tacha, tell us about your confidence. Where is this confidence coming from? Let us know more about it. So, Tacha said something very strong and powerful, and I held on to it. She said, this confidence came from a disregard from people, which started from her childhood. But, you see, her mom was there for her. You know, her mom was the one that was just supporting her and telling her to be herself. You know, her mom was there to motivate her. Her mom told her that she doesn't need anybody's validation to make her feel good about herself so that was what was keeping tacha strong like you see i also believe that aside from her childhood she faced a lot of backlash from people on internet especially on instagram like especially before she entered into the big brother ninja house yes she faced a whole lot of backlash and that made her very strong and tough yes because she went against all odds against all the trolling to build a name for herself so guys check out the video and i'll be back with more juicy updates um i think that came from um disregard from people okay yeah right. um it had a lot to do with my childhood actually like right. okay. yeah high school right. and not being in any group because okay. we always we always have kids yeah. In schools, like this kid, that kid, and I wasn't any, like nobody wanted me in their kids and yeah, stuff. Right. So I had like, I had just a friend, mm -hmm. and I think she did something bad to me, and I was, I can remember myself tearing up in the house, mm -hmm. and my mom came out, like, who are you tearing up? Mm -hmm. We had a conversation, and up from there, she, she made it 
How do I put it? Like, exactly, to make sure that I can be all by myself and be happy. To make sure that my happiness comes from within. Like, I don't need anybody's validation to feel pretty or to feel okay about myself. So guys, before we proceed with this, our Aproco gist, ah, please, oh, if you are new to my channel, please make sure you smash on the red subscription button to subscribe because here we share juicy entertainment trending stories. And if you enjoyed this video, please make sure you smash on the like button as well. Yes, so, and see, I have um, a discount code, yeah? And this discount code is going to be very useful to parents, students, teachers. I believe it's going to be useful, yeah? So, uh, check out this advert and I'll be back to continue the remaining juicy gist, yeah. Dear parents, do you have kids in GS3 or grade 9? Is your child preparing for junior WIAC or Becker exams? Does your child have what it takes to pass the Becker maths and English exams excellently? Or are you worried your child might fail these exams? Do you know that Emivant Virtual School can help you to test your child's capability? Emivant grade level online exam can check if your child is truly prepared for these exams using the Junior WIAC and Becker standard. So log on to www.emivant.com to register. Use my code AYSquare20 to get 33% discount bonus, which means that you would pay 2,000 Naira instead of the usual 3,000 Naira. You can call on the numbers you see on your screen for more inquiries. So you don't need to worry about how your child would perform. Emivant can do the job for you. Don't miss out on this opportunity. It is very golden. Now, Tatcha talked about her mom. You know, she talked about when she died. She died when she was 18 years old. Uh, she was writing an exam at that point. And seriously, that news broke her. Like, she, she till now, she, she said she's still not recovering from, you know, her mom's death. It's really a sad one. You know, she also talked about where her mom is from. She said her mom was born in Ghana. You know, her mom is a Ghanaian, you know, as we all know. But she was raised in Nigeria. See? The presenter and then decided to go deeper. He said, Okay, oh Tacha, please tell us who is the man in your life? <laughs> And when is she finding time for a relationship? Because Tacha is all, all about securing the bag, securing the bag. But you see, our very own and our very dear Natacha Akide, she did not tell us about um, the man in her life at that point. Too. Hmm. She did not even tell us about Ladi. She did not even mention the name Ladi. Like, seriously, guys, I don't blame Tacha for this because she's trying to keep everything simple and private. Ah, ah. <laughs> all right, guys, check out this video. And I'll be back with more juicy updates. Like, this is very Nigerian journalist question, but it just comes to me. You also focus on work. Where are you finding time? You know, they always ask you, like, who is the man in your life? Where are you finding time for relationships? Are you finding time? Because it looks like you're all about this bag, this money. This I'm focus, in a relationship with my bag. That's a no, it cannot. That's a relationship I'm in. But you know, the bag doesn't lie down. It can't go on a date. How are you even you know? sure? You go to a date. Are you, you how are you even sure it doesn't lie on the bed and you sleep in? So you tell me. The money tell me. I, I think it does actually. Right. It's going to be like this for a long time. It, it is going to be like this for a long time actually. I'm like keen on working. On work. So this presenter went further. He said, okay, oh, Tacha, tell us what your support system is. You know, tell us about your support system. So Tacha said, ah, my support system are God, family, and friends. But you see, at this point, she did not mention Ladi's name. Hm. Then the presenter went further. He said, okay, when you are down, like, how do you stand back on your feet? Like, you know, you was just trying to cajole her so that she would tell us about this man in her life. Hm. That is how Tatcha said, ah, my twin, you know, she said, my twin, my twin. So this presenter for the actor I said, okay, oh, tell us about the highlights of your life so far. Hmm. You know what Tacha said? Tacha said the disqualification in the Big Brother Ninja house has been a highlight so far because God wanted it to happen and she trusts God and maybe God wanted it to happen for a reason. So 
she took it like that but everything in her life is going fine and she's really happy about everything that is going on in her life like seriously guys this is one of the reasons why i like that chat like seriously she's such a godly person and it's really nice to know this side of her um i think the highlight would be the disqualification really yes it would be um, yeah it would be the disqualification yeah, yeah. God wanted that to happen. Mm. And I trust God. Mm. I, I follow him. Mm. I don't exactly know why this had to happen or why mm. this is happening. But I trust the process. And everything's going on really, really great. Mm, 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 mm. Now, the presenter asked her, okay, what are your reasons why you went for the reunion? Yeah, so guys, check out what Tatcha said, her responses, and I'll be back with more juicy updates. I hear that it is problematic. Does it worry you? Yeah. Um, I would say this was the reason why I went for the reunion. Right. You get, because... Me going for the reunion, most definitely, ah, sleeping dogs lying and mm. we're just going to wake them up. Mm. But then I needed to let people mm. see me, not for the narrative being portrayed by any platform or by anybody, but mm. for me. So you see, this presenter also talked about the tension, the anger, bitterness coming from a co-housemate. Like, where is it coming from? Tatcha said, hmm. it has a lot to do with them all. It does not have anything to do with me. It is their problem. It is their business. You see? So, hmm. So, Tatcha further talked about the lessons that she has learned so far. She talked about love, peace. Um, you know, saying that if she had, if there's any beef with anybody, it's best to call up on the person and settle the beef because life is too short. One minute you see somebody happy living fine the next minute you see the person dead sorrow and all of that then she talked about her foundation purpose of her foundation you know her charity foundation she said she had a passion for helping students um, um kids you know because they they are always in need of something you know she also talked about those people that want to be in the big brother ninja house she said if you are going for the big brother ninja show don't try to imitate anybody be yourself and don't do too much like just be be yourself basically you know and don't form one seriousness or too much on seriousness just be balanced like seriously so um guys i'll be running up this video here and i hope you enjoyed this video and if you do please once again make sure you subscribe and smash on the like button as well see you on my next video bye for now